Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my 36 weeks pregnancy update for you guys. So this will be pretty much my um, second to last video for that like series if you will. Um, I just wanted to hop on here and talk a little bit about how I've been doing in the last month. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm just gonna get started. Um, in the last month I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about like the new um, issues and the new good things that have been happening and then a little bit also about how I'm preparing for like the weeks to come. So as I mentioned in the last update, I think when I filmed the last update I had just stopped working but I was still working from home. Um, now this week I pretty much finished all of the hours that I had um, to do from home so I'm pretty much, I only have like five hours left and they are reserved for like answering questions that my colleagues have. Um, on specific topics and stuff like that, so I'm keeping those, but I'm not working unless they're like calling me. So it's it's been nice not to have to work. Um, and also the last month have been amazing just because I didn't have to physically get to work. Um, I have to, uh, like my ride from home to work takes me an hour to an hour and a half in the morning and then an hour to an hour and a half in the evening. So that's like two to three hours per day. So that's a lot of time. So working from home has been really a blessing in the last month. And it has allowed me to do a few things around the house as well to clean up and things like that. Because I want to get everything ready and I want to get everything settled um, for when the baby comes. So um, in the last month, I'm going to start by talking about like what I have. I have done and what I have yet to do like in preparation for the baby um, last weekend I know I'm super late at doing this but last weekend we finally painted the baby's room and we also um, put together the furniture that was going to go in the baby's room and um, today I actually cleaned all of the baby's like uh, bibs and like clothes and um, anything that we have to feed the baby with and like all of his toys everything got cleaned up so now it's just back together in the drawers I started uh, putting the drawers together and stuff to organize everything it's not settled and done as of right now so over the last month I have kind of realized that it was like my due date is like coming pretty pretty soon like now I'm 36 weeks so I could technically going to labor pretty much any time like the baby is pretty much formed at this point um and last weekend i had kind of a little bit of a breakdown just because uh, we still haven't had our shower we know that my brother and a friend of ours is working on the shower but it still hasn't happened and we have like items that are necessities that we put on the wish list um for the registry and we were stopping ourselves from buying these items um just because we didn't want like scoop somebody else's purchase and everything like that so i had to like call my brother up and ask him like did you use registry or like i had to take the registry and then take the bare necessities that i needed for the first like week of the baby's life and compare those two and check out like what I could purchase right away because as of like last weekend we didn't have any like um, we didn't really purchase any clothes because we were expecting to get some um, during the shower and since that hasn't happened like we don't have any and we want to have a few like I need to prep my hospital bag and um, I need like PJs and stuff like that for the kid for the baby when he comes so it like last Sunday we actually made a list of like the bare necessities that we needed for the first week and went out and got those um, like having a shower really really late like that in the pregnancy is kind of stressful because you don't want to like over buy stuff because you, th you know that you're gonna get some and at the same time like I know that a few of our friends and family are going to go for like gift cards so I'm gonna have to do some shopping like last minute shopping and I that's not something that I was looking forward to. I would have liked that at this point everything would have been bought and everything and settled and that situation is kind of stressful on me but I, <laughs> there's not much that I can do about that. 
Um, other than that, <laughs> on a more positive note, um, during the last weekend, we put to finally put together the baby's room. We did all of the painting. We also um, installed, like, uh, got the furniture installed, and we also, like, today I finished cleaning all of the toys and all of the clothes and that we currently have and put that um, in the drawers and stuff. It's not 100% organized as of right now, but it's still doing much better than I was like a week ago, which helps my mental sanity a lot. Um, I will be shooting like a um, nursery tour soon enough. Um, I just have to finish putting everything together first before I do a uh, film that video. And I don't think that I'm gonna upload it right away. I think that I'm gonna like save the video for when I'm taking like my YouTube break. I'm gonna, I wanna have a few pre film videos for you guys um, while I'm away. But, like, because I plan on taking like a month off of YouTube when I have the baby. So I wanna pre film a few videos that I can like post during that month. Um, also, um, Tomorrow I'm planning on doing my uh, hospital bag because as of right now I don't have it done mostly because as of last weekend I did not have everything together <laughs> so it was hard to do um, a hospital bag when you don't really have everything that you need to put in there. There are still a few items missing but not like not that much and I'm going to finish my shopping this week to make sure that I have at the very least everything for the hospital bag and then that there are just a few things that I can add in if I need to. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at for right now for like getting ready. Um, like my goal is that this week I want to get everything set up as much as possible for the things that we already have and to make sure that I buy everything that is like an immediate necessity um, so that I can last at least a week with the baby without having to have my husband go out and uh, to have like um, my boyfriend go out and get anything or to call my parents to get anything for us. Um, so that would be really the target of the week, to set at least the first week of the baby's stuff. Um, and then anything that um, I need, I want extra, I'm going to wait for after the shower to go and grab those items. Um, also, for next week, my target will be to prep as much food as possible so that I have like a freezer that is completely stashed and stuff like that with uh, ready-to-go items for um, the first few weeks of the baby's life. So if I don't, if we're tired and everything, then we'll have a little bit of food. I'm lucky enough. So in Quebec, we're really, really lucky because like the paternity leave is five weeks long. And then there's like a common maternity, paternity leave that you can take, like you have got a certain amount of weeks that you can split for either the, uh, the father or the mother. And then you've got the mother's weeks as well. And um, my boyfriend is taking five weeks from the like common um, bank plus his five weeks. So he's going to be home for 10 weeks. And then um, I'm going to have almost, I like I stopped working like a month ago and I'm going to go back to work only in September. So I'm going to have almost a whole year of maternity leave. So that's going to be really, really awesome. I'm going to have time to adjust to my new like um, mother situation. And um, at least for the 10 first weeks, I'm going to have him home at, at well with me so it's going to be easier to adjust um, as a family rather than on my own so that's what's coming up for me in the next few weeks now I'm gonna talk a little bit about like how my pregnancy has been going in the last month so in the last month I have um, new things that have kind of occurred and uh, but overall honestly the last month is the first month of pregnancy that I actually enjoyed yes I feel like a huge potato bag and getting up and getting out of bed and stuff like that is kind of hard physically like the effort that you need to get up from a couch or something is kind of hard um, but at least I've been like my uh, overall mood has been a lot better um, which has been helping a lot I'm not as tired either um, for nausea, whenever I'm still, I'm still taking my medication, I tried quitting the medication once during the month and it was a total fail. So I'm still taking my nausea medication, but at least when I'm taking that, it's completely under control, which is awesome. 
Um, also for like other symptoms that I currently have, I still have a lot of reflux. So I'm still taking medication for the reflux because I kind of um, have it constantly now, which is a little bit of a bummer. But other than that, like everything has been doing pretty great. I have um, like rest leg uh, at night that has been starting but I haven't found a way that works for me to kind of um, help with that and it's exfoliating or deeply massaging my legs before I go to bed so I usually take a shower before I go to bed and so I will either use a um, exfoliant or exfoliating gloves or do some dry brushing beforewards or sometimes just uh, apply a moisturizer and really rub it into my legs and I feel like that helps improve the circulation and that really really helps with the rest of restless legs otherwise it's hard for me to fall asleep just because of that also of course sleeping has been a little bit harder but I've realized I sleep really really well in the morning I really have a hard time sleeping during the well I will usually get into bed fall asleep after like 10 minutes of tossing and then I will sleep for like three or hours straight and then it will be like bathroom and then I will toss and turn for a while and then fall asleep for like half an hour to an hour and then have to go to bathroom again and then toss and turn so that part of the night is not as great and so I will usually like go to bed at like 11 be okay up until like 2 in the morning and then from 2 to 6 6 6 30 it's really really crappy but then like from 6.30 to 9, almost 10, I can get away with a lot of good sleep. So I've been um, getting up very late lately uh, just because I get my best stretch of sleep from 6.30 in the morning to like 9 or 10. So I've been really taking the time um, to sleep that little extra part of the night. Um, and also I've started like getting a little bit more active again. I was really active in the first part of my pregnancy. I was still teaching aerobics and aquatic aerobic classes and stuff like that. But I took a little break uh, during the summer because I really needed it. And um, now I, really, I am back to working out a little bit. So I go to aqua fitness classes and I walk a lot and stuff like that just to help um, with like my some soreness in my back and stuff like that. Um, the last um, issue that I have been starting to struggle with is um, really, really low pressure. So low bl blood pressure. So I am getting a little bit, like sometimes I will start seeing a little bit of like spots, light spots and stuff like that and I will get very, very dizzy and I have to lie down otherwise I kind of pass out. Um, it happened last time, like the... It happened once when I was at the doctor's uh, at a doctor's appointment, and we realized I was really like I my blood pressure is kind of low all the time, but I'm also having like really intense drops where like my pressure drops really drastically, and I almost faint from that. So that has been also like a little bit of an issue that has been occurring. But luckily enough, since I'm not working anymore, I can just lie down whenever I don't feel great. And if I'm out and about, I'll just sit or lie down in my car until it, um, it gets back to normal. So that's pretty much all um, that has been going on in the last month of my pregnancy. As I mentioned, I plan doing one more update, um, maybe like at 39 weeks um, if I haven't had the baby um, at that point. And I also plan on filming a nursery video, like nursery tour that will go up after the baby is born during my like recovery time. Uh, while I'm taking my break from YouTube. So this is it for this video. I am not going to insert a clip of my belly because for whatever reason, whenever I film it here, it doesn't do it justice. So I'm going to insert a picture of what my belly currently looks like. And this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.